Hello and welcome to Hey, I Loved That Movie, the podcast where we rewatch the films we loved when we were younger to see if they still hold up. I'm Dan. I'm Michael. And I'm Helena. And for this episode, we watched Aristocats. I knew this was going to be a good time when I pressed play on Disney Plus and it was like, hey, just so you know, fucking is a warning. Like, there was some fucked shit in this. <laughs> yeah. Just yeah. letting you know. <laughs> and I I'm was, like, this I is was... going to be good. <laughs> I was just like racking episode. my brains, like, and w- so when was it racist? And then, yeah, undeniably. And it's yeah, like, yeah, I'm, it's like, I'm it honestly just surprised. It's the point of like, yeah, it's yep, not, there it is. it's not. <laughs> It's not subtle racism. No. <laughs> it's no. acute and direct and undeniably racist. Yeah. Just like Grandpappy used to make. So who picked Just... this film? I no, did. I know that sounded really accusatory. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I picked <laughs> this stunning film. Mm-hmm. I mean, to be fair, it is better than the other films you have picked. <laughs> And for one, that, like I may have seen bits of this as a kid. I know that my nana really liked this movie, so I've, I've probably seen bits of it, but I didn't really remember too much. But I've got to say, I enjoyed it more than the last animated cat movie. Ah, uh, yeah, I think I got this confused with Lady and the Tramp and the last cat movie we watched. Oh, okay, <laughs> Oliver and Company. Yeah, yeah. The Oliver and Company. They're like in my head. I think growing up, like a lot of the scenes blended. To be fair, I think there's also racist. Siamese cats. There in, is. So when I saw um, the, Lady in the, Lady Tramp, the yeah. Tramp, when I saw the warning at the beginning, I was like, "Oh, it's probably the Siamese Siamese cats they're talking about." Different film. Yeah. <laughs> Different film. You're, I can't believe your animated cat movie racist. <laughs> 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 so Helena, were you like a big fan of this? Then I was a huge fan of this. I knew all the words to all the songs. I like absolutely loved it. We would quote. This was one of the ones we'd sort of quote as a family. Oh. So it'd be like you're not a you're not a lady you're just you're nothing but a sister. If I was like trying to put on airs and graces as a little kid, <laughs> yeah, just so so many little little bits of it. A, a lady starts fight doesn't start fights, but she sure can finish them. Oh yeah, yeah. There were a lot a of quotes quote. as it went through that I was like, oh yeah, I I actually recognise that, but might not have known that it was from this. Ah uh, yeah, I I'm I've totally forgotten big big parts of it. I've not seen this in a long time, but. I do. I uh, I had a. It was such a joy to watch. I really enjoyed. It. Apart from like the weird, singular racist bit, and I think that like everything else was kind of fine. Yeah, um, I don't think there was anything particularly wrong. Well, apart um, from the weird racist bit. But yeah. yeah, just that. And I was like, I know that Disney says we're not cutting this stuff out because we don't want to deny that we did it. But, but they cut it out of, of the me... song. Like I have heard the song before a lot, and that bit is very. Ob- that that bit isn't in it. <laughs> It, it, it's not like it adds anything to the movie. And it's yeah, so brief so it's, as well. And it's, it's, so it's a bit of it's cut. I guess that has a, it must have a slur in it yeah. or something. Anyway, so we should start at the beginning of this film because it is yeah. a weird film. Yeah, all good films start with one, start with a warning. <laughs> yeah. And two, <laughs> how all good kids films start, old people flirting with each other. Yep. Which then leads into um, the other uh, thing that we like on this podcast, which is a female character with a bow in her hair in Paris. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, also, another film, uh, the second film of this type that we have seen, where a film expressly set in a major part of France, and the only characters that speak with a French accent are non-major background characters. <laughs> Everyone else... English accent or an American accent. Oh, Duchess. Like, Duchess speaks with a French accent. Is that a French accent? Yeah, she's all like, oh, petit, oh, darling, oh, you are such... And yeah, I mean, she's speaking English, but... Like, yeah, like vague. vague French accent. But no one else, no other, like, main character has a French, real French accent. Yeah. <laughs> it's, just, it's, a, it's just weird that it's the second time that has happened. And this one, I mean, to be fair, this one was from a lot longer before that as well. Yeah. I, I, I genuinely didn't realise this was like 1970 that this came out. That's before my mum was even born. Yeah. This is. It feels older in a way. Yeah, sort of. I think yeah. obviously because it's set much earlier. I don't know when exactly it's set, but. At time in Paris. I guess before the Eiffel Tower was built. 
because it doesn't show you the Eiffel Tower, and I think it's against the law to have a film set in Paris and not show you the Eiffel Tower. Yeah. I thought it did show you the Eiffel Tower near the beginning, but maybe I'm wrong. I, no, I think it did briefly. Yeah, oh, did it? On the little I beginning think... bit. I so. think when ah, the okay. Butler I'm glad was... it didn't break the rules then. No, because it, it shows bad. the other like important French places too, like the big archway from John Wick. Yeah, the <laughs> film would have had to have <laughs> and, to, and, yeah. and Notre Dame. Yeah, also from John Wick. <laughs> 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 from John Wick 4. <laughs> yeah, so this film starts... Uh, yeah, with two old people flirting, and the character. So it's the the mistress, which is very weird that they keep calling her that throughout the film. The owner of these cats. Yeah, the rich old lady who lives in a mansion on sort of on her yeah. own in Paris, but she's got called her Madame. butler called Edgar. Yeah, Madame. Yeah, Madame. And but something I wrote it down. I can't remember. <laughs> and she gets her lawyer called George. Yep. Sorry. Um, set in Paris, Georges, even though George. he has an English accent. And he's just a, a very old man. It's a very old man. And yeah. Like, yes, it's in Paris, you're called Georges. And he's like, hello! <laughs> All right, I'm here to do your will. <laughs> it's, oh, it's it, no, it, like, for the first, like, 20 minutes, it, was just, it just annoyed me. Yeah, I um, love that yeah. his, his, cats, like, grand yeah. entrance is, like, he's just absolutely exasperates Edgar. Yeah. Yeah. Where he's, like... He's like, perhaps the lift, perhaps the elevator. And he's like, oh, well, gee, I'm not old. <laughs> I'll take the stairs. And he has to be basically carried up the stairs. Yeah. Yeah, Edgar has, like, the strongest, like, breeches. Is it breeches? The things that hold up your trousers yeah. that they keep getting pulled on. They, they're, they like, the strongest ones suspenders. known to man. The suspenders, yeah, that's the one. <laughs> yeah. They, they should have snapped <laughs> at, like, four points in the movie. <laughs> they're also called braces. But huh. I think in other countries they call them suspenders. Ah. Either way, both words I didn't say. <laughs> yeah. We got um, all of them. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, he really wants to fuck the uh, the woman. It sounds like they might have even done in the past. Yeah. But they both know he cannot get it up anymore. Yeah. But he he flirts real hard. They have a little dance together. And then she's like, write my will. Yeah. And in her will, she wants to leave everything to her cats, but she wants to leave the cats to Edgar. And this kind of spins off the whole story instead of yeah. Edgar being smart and realizing that cats can't spend money. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, because she so she doesn't she leaves the cats she leaves all of her money, everything to the cats. And Edgar's like listening into this. Yeah, he hears uh, it through like a weird pipe system thing, <laughs> which is bizarre. Yeah. That she does like it's done like she doesn't know that that's set up. Yeah, she um, isn't like yeah. maybe we should stop talking. <laughs> well, I guess she does trust Edgar, but she's yeah, like exactly. Yeah, that's true. And even but then towards she the end, like he is still he well he was still in her will, and it's like yeah, yeah. because it's everything is left to the cats, and then when the cat got dies, cats die, he gets it. Yeah, yeah. Um, which like cats are quite easy to kill. <laughs> I'm just, There's probably went, a clause in, in that will of... Uh... It would have been a, no offence Mikey, much shorter film if he'd I, just gone in however, Bag Brick River. However, <laughs> I'm interested in knowing it, because can you leave, like, all of your money to a pet? Can you do that legally? Probably. Maybe then you could. <laughs> That's true, I don't know if you can anymore. <laughs> Um, I don't think anyone checked. I think you then. you have to leave nowadays. You'd have to leave it in a trust and give like explicit instructions on how the money would be spent, and that yeah. can be like you know the x amount of money must be spent devoted on. towards care of the cats and cannot be spent in any other way. Yeah, um, but so so if this story happens in real world, someone is gives all their money to the cats and then says the person looking after the cats will get it all when the cats die. What? You'd probably want your lawyer these days to write in unless the da the cats die in suspicious circumstances well, or go that, missing. That's what I mean. Is like what happens because you can't put in what if the cats go missing because sometimes cats just go missing. So that could be like completely. I an guess. Well, yeah, it, I'll go missing under suspicious circumstances. Right? Would they? Yeah, like be, if how, all four went missing at once. <laughs> how much of an investigation? Or like. You, you could go through the other route of just saying to the lawyers, like, 
Clearly, this woman was not mentally well. She left her money to her cats. No, I'm, I'm <laughs> no, saying, like, what if... The, the will will be... I mean, he obviously could contest it, but the whole point of doing uh, getting a lawyer to write your will is that yeah, they agree it... that you're sound they and agree. everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So <laughs> it, would there be an investigation into who killed these cats? Yeah. Not and necessarily how... by the police, because it would be seen as, like... Unless they thought the cats had been... Murdered? It, yeah, it, well, it, it's it's a sort of a criminal case in that, yeah, who killed these cats? It, but the police would probably let the lawyers kind of fund investigation of it, the same way, like, you know, but how it's they send like... out people to investigate if someone's claimed insurance and, that you know, how they really hurt ton. themselves if they're claiming insurance and then get private investigators to investigate. But it's a shit ton of money, though. Will that amount of money make it criminal? Because it's essentially stealing against well, it's fraud. a will. Yeah, it's fraud. So, yeah. I, yeah, but I think it's it's hard to prove. Like it might be hard to get the police interested. Absolutely, it's impossible to prove because cats are like cats can be weird like that. They can just disappear sometimes. Well, I guess yeah, it's, imagine... it's sort of heavily implied that these are indoor cats. Yeah, you're not gonna like. I mean, as Jess used to do, she would go out and then come back a couple of days later. But imagine if like. You think the cats are gone, you get all the money, you spend some of it, you buy yourself a nice new car and things like that. And then the cat comes back and then you have to give the money back and and the car yeah. to the cat. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> like, here you go. This is uh, technically the cat is insured on oh, this. <laughs> I mean, it, it's dumb anyway, but yeah, I, I mean, realistically, what you would be able to do is appoint a trust and then a board of trustees and beneficiaries yeah. of that trust. So cats can be the... I don't think cats could be like a direct beneficiary, but like you, what you could have is someone who ben- that one of the beneficiaries, their job as part of cat. their is that they'd be paid a certain amount to care for these cats. Would you guys ever do that just to like piss someone off? To be petty? I, 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 I don't know. think I have enough money to if leave you... to anyone to piss anyone off. <laughs> if you were, but maybe you one ever... day, you know, if the pod kicks off. If you ever had that much money and you could <laughs> bequeath it to an animal. <laughs> Would you do that? Just, just end up with a full-on like knives out scenario, but it's based around the fact you left it all to a cat. <laughs> I great. A little smaller than that. I want like a, a like a hamster or something. I mean, yeah, a hamster that lives like what two years, and if you've already got the hamster, yeah. like it's like no. Like, I want to buy. It's a more new of a three ha- to four month delay. I want to you... buy a new hamster. <laughs> <laughs> Because I mean, it's not long enough to try and contest, but it's an irritating to just have your <laughs> inheritance given to a hamster. It's like you I just wait it out. Funny, yeah. Yeah, you'd also, you know, you'd be forever I... remembered because you would have had the world's richest hamster. Yeah. <laughs> that to sounds be fair, like a great time. I wouldn't care because I'd be dead. Yeah. yeah exactly. Great. Um... But now I'm imagining a hamster who, like, has a giant hamster cage with a little McDonald's in it. Uh, <laughs> Just like Richie, Richie Rich. Rich of hamsters. <laughs> his, own, his own little hamster roller coaster. Living yeah. his <laughs> best life. He gets the house. We're going to build, make the house hamster Hamster friendly. room. <laughs> yeah, hamster house. You, oh, you like, for go one hamster a property. as well. <laughs> He's single. <laughs> a single, like, dwarf hamster. Just an estate agent showing you around, and you're like, why are these weird, like, clear plastic tubes going up and down the stairs? Because <laughs> like, oh, hamsters they, aren't good at stairs. They, they were the, belong to the... Okay, hang on. What if you left it to, like, Stuart Little? <laughs> Cause well, that's fine, he's, because we he's decided he's sentient. Yeah. yeah, he's a person. He just looks like a hamster. He yeah. looks like a mouse. <laughs> mouse. Well, well no, he looks quite hamstery. <laughs> Fair enough. Anyway... <laughs> But, like, if you did leave it to Stuart Little, would it, the other... I mean, the other mouse people might try and, like, trick it out of him. He's a very gullible mouse boy. Well, he's a boy, so a lot of it would be in trust until he's 18 or yeah. whatever, however whatever rats it's become of age. He, he become... <laughs> the idea of Stuart Little as an adult is really strange. We didn't well, think The other, the other ma- mice we saw were pretty weird. Yeah, but if, like, particularly him as like, because I imagine he'd look identical. Just have a slightly deeper voice and a lot of money now. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, there is um also that mouse in this called R- Rookfort who yes, Rockfort, um, which is a type of cheese. A type of cheese, and also I was like, I recognise that voice, and it he's it's Winnie we- the Pooh. Yeah, it is uh, Winnie the Pooh, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, it's literally it's the same guy who went on to voice Winnie the Pooh, and I was like, yeah. this this mouse sounds like it wants honey. <laughs> like, <laughs> 
We should we should explain the cats. So the cats. Ah, yes. Yeah. The the mother. I can't remember any of their names. Uh, so, so there's Duchess, who's the mother. Yes. And then um, the three. Who is like um, the pitches. calmest cat they've ever yeah. like written. Oh she's yeah, mother so is on Valium. Kind of. Yeah, she's. She's off it. She's out of it most <laughs> of the film. Yeah, the oh, uh, no, the, the sleeping tablets that she gets overdosed on. That's normally like one a <laughs> like one yeah, yeah. cream for her anyway. <laughs> <laughs> she's built up a tolerance. Yeah. Um, yeah, so we have the Duchess. Yeah, there's her the little kittens. There's Marie, who is the little female one, the white one with a little bow in her hair. Um, Toulouse and Berlioz. Oh, they're yeah. great. They're such little characters. They're really cute. Yeah. I really liked them. Yeah, they're Cause... cuter than Oliver in Oliver and Company when he. Yeah, was. yeah. I mean, they're really nice. Like considering it's that like old style animation, they are really nicely animated. Like, yeah, there's like so them. much, but... especially for you know for the seventies. But they're they're just really nice. <laughs> I like to think that this is a set in the same universe as Oliver and Company. Yeah, I like yeah. to think that this is all the same place, and like they could eventually meet. Hmm. I mean, yeah. When I could, you know, the cat later on, <laughs> the guy cat. Thomas O'Malley, the alley. Yeah, cat. do you reckon yeah. that's <laughs> no, Oliver? What's his full name? I didn't write that much of notes. <laughs> but like Abraham reckon... DeLacy, Geo Sand I don't know. Do you reckon that's Oliver? <laughs> yeah, that's one of his, his other name. names. <laughs> yeah. He he went from I mean this is set in nineteen ten in Paris. Yeah. You don't know how cats Maybe work. Oliver is the descendant of these cats. Yeah. <laughs> Could be. Well, maybe the original Oliver. But there is a seventy year gap. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there's a lot of cats in between. They lose their money. So, yeah, there's the other two cats. The little girl cat sings. Three cats. Girl cat sings. Yeah, Toulouse sure, is like an artist and he can paint. Um, yeah. Well, the the mother's like... Duchess is like doing the whole rich kids thing where yeah. one of the cats is like, oh, we should learn to fight because we might we might need that. And she's like, no, no, better yourselves as cats. Yes, you you don't need to worry about fighting. The French did that a while ago. You're all good. Oh, (laughs) yeah, no fighting coming up in 1910. No, no, it's all all done. (laughs) It's all... Yeah, there's there's absolutely nothing on the horizon, don't worry. You're not about to enter the cat division of World War (laughs) I. This is where we got Valiant. Yeah. (laughs) It's all the same universe. Every film we've ever watched on this podcast is set in the same universe. Of course. Some not like, you know, a good few years after this movie, Lara Croft drove a motorcycle yeah. along the Great Wall of China. Yeah. <laughs> which cat's which cat was your favorite? Mine was Toulouse. Which one was Toulouse? The orange one? Cuz he's so feisty. Yeah, yeah I kind of like Toulouse. I I don't think I could pick a favorite. They were all great in their own way. <laughs> yeah. They were all cute. But they they're such cute little I love that they're like real dump truck kittens. Yeah, <laughs> like they're so podgy and chubby, mm. and yeah, they get cream. They get like yeah, oh yeah well, they're fed cream daily. Yeah, yeah. creme. You know, was it? Because he brings so he the 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 butler learns that he has to get rid of the cats to get the money. Yeah, yeah. Um, and which, for some like, reason can't kill them, which I guess is good for you know not scarring kill children and there being a film but also logically it's like just, just kill the cats or maybe like wait until the, the wait until the duchess dies and yeah. then kill yeah. the cats yeah wait until because like she's still like the owner of the house is still alive yeah, yeah. he won't inherit anything just because and like what all that does is give her time to amend her will and like maybe yeah. find a different relative or decide that she's going to you know give it Probably all to a cattery all to or a cat rescue center yeah or you know adopt more cats <laughs> Yeah. yeah, or give it all to uh, the school that Madeline is from. Yeah. <laughs> but, because all the, it's all set in the same universe. Yep. Uh, yeah, it's such yeah. a weird plan to be like, I'll kill these cats now. Yeah, he's like, I'll get rid of them. So he, he makes his... their cream, which has like nutmeg and all sorts in it, and then just puts a fuckload of sleeping tablets in yeah, it. Yeah, like so many sleeping tablets. It's creme de la... What was it? Creme de la... Creme de la creme de la Edgar. Yeah. So they... Yeah, he... Tra- to be like that would kill cats. That many. That would 
kill so an elephant. Pills. However, barely affects the Duchess. <laughs> She's used to well, it. She can body it. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, obviously the first to be affected is Rockfall, the mouse, who comes mm. out and is like, that smells good. Yeah, he's <laughs> oh. like, oh, I've got a cracker. Can I have <laughs> some? <laughs> yeah, can I have some cranberry? And everywhere? he's trying to be all bashful and like reserved about it. And they're just like, come on, get over here. Yeah. And other it's called that film is called Parasite. <laughs> <laughs> we have Parasite within the Aristocats because there's also the horse that they know. Fru Fru. Yeah, those two are the Parasite people. <laughs> ah, Fru Fru earns her keep. She gets the um gets the Madame yeah. out and lets she lets the kittens ride on her back. Yeah, that was sweet. Uh, yeah, he knocks Edgar knocks the cats out. And then takes them. Where was he actually taking them? I think he was just trying just to dump out of them. Paris. The, the thing I found weird is that when Edgar leaves the house, he's trying to be all sneaky, and he like you know almost he like walks into a tree and stuff, and he, he's trying to be quiet, and he just gets on a fucking motorbike. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> off we go. Yeah, <laughs> not the um, most. Yeah, not the most uh, silent, subtle no. forms of transport. But yeah, Especially he, as he it's like of... 1910, so it's like backfiring constantly. Yeah, exactly. So he's um, he just kind of drives them out of Paris to to a farm so he can dump them, and then some dogs attack him. Yeah. To be fair, they... we don't actually know how many of those sleeping pad tablets he has to give to Madame every night. <laughs> so... yeah. Yeah, he dogs... drives out to like an abandoned farm or like an old farm. Yeah. Yeah. This bit uh... I'd totally forgotten about, and then when I obviously when I saw the scenes, I remembered each each bit. The dogs are great. The they dogs are, are amazing. Funny, yeah. What are their names? Is it Lafayette? Lafayette and Napoleon. Yeah. Yeah, because he's like, I'm the one in charge. <laughs> Again, not French accents. <laughs> not a not a French, French accent. Names, not French accents. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, they basically like attack his bike, and there's a, a whole bunch of hijinks, and Edgar ends up leaving a bunch of shit. But the kittens are dumped under a, a bridge. Yeah, because they're like hunting dogs. They can hear one of them can hear and can like describe everything about it. He's like, it's a bike coming this way. It's got a squeaky left wheel. Yeah. It's got a squeaky back <laughs> wheel. And then it was like, there's some squeaky shoes approaching. Yeah. Well, that's <laughs> and I was like, they're Oxford shoes, so it's nine and a half. Hole in the left side, it sounds like. Lafayette's like, what colour are they? And the phone's like, well, they're black. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, no how one. would I know? How would I know? <laughs> I don't know what colour they are. <laughs> Great. But yeah, there's a, they have a rabble. He, the butler, Edgar drops the cats uh, and leaves... And he's like, well, I mean, it's not a big problem. He wanted to get rid of the cats. Exactly. He just now has half a motorbike, no shoes, no hat, and no umbrella. Yeah. And but no... he somehow doesn't realise until later. And, and no picnic basket <laughs> full of cats. <laughs> um, it's a very cute Moses basket. It's yeah. so nice. I think and... I always wanted one of them as well. Like That was one of the things that I like took from this movie. It's like, I want a Moses, like a little Moses basket with the drapes cats in it. over it. <laughs> and the cats in it, obviously. Well, we had a cat when I was growing up who I loved, so... Them, the cats waking up in this and, like, being lost, genuinely frightening. Yeah, yeah quite like, it's scary. Like, they get scared re- by that frog. He's just like... Yeah. He's like, fuck. Like, <laughs> there's, <laughs> it's genuinely quite, like, worrying bit of... Like, the rest of the film's kind of light-hearted kid stuff. You're like, nothing really that bad happens to them. Yeah. But at this point, it's like... You're genuinely like I don't know because I'd never seen this one before. I didn't know if if it was going to be one of those traumatic kids films. <laughs> you weren't sure how many yeah. kittens were going to make it back. <laughs> yeah, or like, like oh, the mum wakes up, but she has to find the babies as she goes along. <laughs> yeah, like this is from the era of traumatize your children. True, very true. So it did... just you know chooses racism to traumatize you with instead. <laughs> yeah, um, I don't think it chose racism. I think it just did it. Yeah. Like it, it wasn't a conscious thought into the it was racism. Like, well, part. we're gonna have a Chin- If we're gonna have a like a Siamese cat, we might as well make them sound um, Asian. Horrific. Yeah. <laughs> and how uh, do we do that? <laughs> in the worst way possible. Uh, but yeah, no, I was like, I did genuinely didn't know how dark this film was gonna be, yeah. and there were a few times in where I was like, oh god, is it gonna get? Is it going to do the trauma bit of childhood <laughs> films from like the seventies and eighties? Luckily, it didn't. Yeah, I'm no. glad it didn't. Like, this is a very this is. I think this is why I love I love this film so much as well as that it isn't fucked up. It is actually no. really, a, it is really nice to watch. It's a very yeah, soft. But that bit is it's quite scary because and there's this 
Yeah, so Marie's like stuck in some branches on like bamboo or something or reeds and can't get out. And then Berlioz, like, it, it was in the water and he's like, oh, yeah. I'm all cold and wet. And he's so, <laughs> he's so droopy and it is like as sad as when you do see a cat in the water. Yeah. yeah, and it's like, mummy, I'm scared. And it's like, that's genuine shit. What's, how bad is it going to be? And like, she tries to comfort them, but then the then there's like the thunder and lightning goes off and she's like scared as well. And it's, she doesn't say like, oh, it's going to be okay or anything. Like, she's just like, hurry, get back in the... Yeah, because Toulouse is just in the basket still. He's like, yeah, what? Yeah. What's going on? But he kind of like vaguely saw Edgar because he woke up a bit at one point. Yeah, he's clearly been topping up on mum's pills. <laughs> <laughs> and has that same sort of built-in resistance. He was finishing her creme de la creme de la Edgar uh, when she passed out after the eighth pill he put in it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, M- Madame... Oh, Madame Adelaide, that's a that's her name. That's it. Yeah, yeah, she kind of wakes up in the night because of a thunderstorm and she she's realizes psychic. the kittens are gone. She's psychic. <laughs> I don't care what you say, because she wakes up and goes, the cat! Oh, I had a terrible dream. <laughs> And the cats are god. She is. She has a psychic connection with. I assume the du- the Duchess. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I assume. Yeah, it was weird to add that she. Yeah, that it was like. Is that going to come back later? Is she? Is she going to have dreams about premonitions? Them getting there? Like what? What's going on with that? But no, it's it's yeah. It's just sort of done for the for the scene. It's. I think it's just to like add that she knows. Yeah. Which the big is reveal this? that she finds out, but she yeah. doesn't suspect Edgar. No, and also like that bit of the film doesn't really need to happen. Like it's not. I think it just it has to show like she does genuinely care about them. Obviously, we know that anyway. Yeah, because she's just left that. her fortune to them. But it remember, been... this is a kids' film for kids, and kids are dumb. Yeah, no, but I think it would have been fine even for kids oh, yeah. if they just didn't cut back to the house outside. I suppose it's of, also like... to remind you gently of where they're heading. That's that's true. <laughs> that is true. But yeah, no, this bit genuinely frightening and then they see the other cat the yeah. street cat and it's like oh oh Jonas god oh no Lally. oh no <laughs> and instead he's just like hey he's real well horny. he's he's like fucking he's... hell you're gorgeous but he says it like a little bit smoother than that he's real yeah, horny. He does well, a he whole song him... about it <laughs> yeah and then he's like you've got eyes of sapphire and he's real smooth but my god is he horny well, he's an al- he's a he's a un Done or an uncut? What's it called? <laughs> Unmuted. <laughs> Unmuted <laughs> male cat. Yeah. yeah. I think they only really have one mode, and that is gotta True. gotta get down. True. We never learn who who the other cat is for the for the kittens, do we? Yeah, like the dad. Yeah, no idea. The real dad, <laughs> the no biological idea. dad. <laughs> <laughs> um. No, you. I mean, one can assume a pedigree that was stud that's. True. Stud rather than yeah, maybe family. George has a male cat and you know. <laughs> you sorry, George. George is clearly French. Oh yeah, they, they <laughs> fuck vicariously through their pets. Oh, that's such a horrible. <laughs> yeah, horrible sorry, nightmare. that was a really nasty way of phrasing. That. <laughs> that's <a> real... <laughs> I apologize. I was well thinking something dumb, like you know how it normally does, like the kind of pan across when it's like about to obviously a sex scene, <laughs> but a cat pans across and it's just two cats. <laughs> and then it just keeps going. <laughs> but yeah, he's he's a good cat, the street cat, because he's like he does all the flirting and then goes, Oh god, you've got kids. <laughs> oh shit, I should be <laughs> which responsible. Felt, which felt like weird when he first saw the kids and went, mm, maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> right. And she's like, Oh that because like the Duchess isn't an idiot, but she's just a bit naive. Yeah. Cause, I guess because she's been a house cat sort of her whole life. She's not Yeah. Yeah, not not really but, that well versed on that kind of thing. But she like falls for it, and she's like, "Oh, he's so sweet and nice." And when he's like, "Oh, you've got kids," she's like, "Oh, it's like that, is it?" Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, really? He's just like, oh, you've got a kitten. Uh, uh, oh, that'll be. And she's like, he's like, you'll fly. Well, you, well, I'll get you a magic carpet ride back to Paris. Yeah. And she's like, and then uh, um, Marie's just like, "Can I come on the magic carpet too?" And he's like, "Yeah, just the three of us." <laughs> four, like four, five, five. <laughs> and you can yeah. see he's sort of doing the maths in his head's like, is it still worth hooking up with this cat? <laughs> yeah, uh, and then he, he, she's because she says like, oh, it was just a magic carpet ride for two, wasn't it? Hmm. I just wanted her to be really angry and be like, really? 
Um, but he offers to like help them out and like get them to Paris. Yeah, he he manages yeah. to like stop a truck for them to to yeah, get. He throws on himself by, in front of yeah, the truck, just jumping on the <laughs> on the windscreen. And then they climb into the back, and and then Marie falls off, and O'Malley get. Yeah, O'Malley's not going to go with them. He's just kind of like letting them go. But then Marie is saying bye and falls off the truck. Yeah, um, so he grabs so, her and and they go yeah. back. It's so sweet. Yeah. So I thought he was always going to go with. Could... He said, "I'll take you to." I thought he was always going to take them. No, no, he's oh. like leaving. He's saying oh. goodbye yeah, he's and leaving, leaving and she go, falls yeah. off. Um, so he grabs yeah, he her. Yeah, he ends and... up going with them. Yeah. And then it cuts back to to Madame in in her mansion, and there's front page news about these ki- kittens that have gone missing. See, See? slow news day. There's no war. Yeah, I'm just yeah. very slow news day. Yeah. Front page news. <laughs> Yeah. Would care I mean, to be kill. fair, it it could be the equivalent of the Thanet Gazette. Yeah, probably. I've been front page of the Thanet Gazette, I think. So right, also, like, <laughs> yeah, like Lady no, I think for like a school nativity play or something. So, like, you know, yeah. yeah. <laughs> to be fair, Lady Gaga's dogs got kidnapped, and that was like headline news. So, I, yeah, that yeah, makes I sense. guess it, I guess it could maybe. Maybe Madame Adelaide was the Lady Gaga of her day. <laughs> oh, did you see her? Of course she was. <laughs> we don't know how she made her money. She might have been like a famous singer or something. Yeah, back in the late 1800s. Yeah, because there's no was. husband, there's no mention of a husband. No. She doesn't have any children. Yeah, I assume she made her own she money. She has, yeah. <laughs> she became a millionaire in her own right. She's she's the Taylor Swift of the late 1800s. <laughs> Gonna be completely fair, an English woman making a lot of money in France just before <laughs> World War I. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> we probably know what happened to her later on. <laughs> just gonna say it. Uh, in like ten or twenty years, it's fine. <laughs> she did a, she did a Coco Chanel, and she might not have been a Nazi. <laughs> no, to, to be fair, she might not have been a Nazi. However, they were like they did like certain animals. <laughs> yeah, um, but I like cats. I'm not a Nazi. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking up like what wars were France involved in in at this time, and um, (laughs) yeah, they were just doing fucking horrible things in Africa. So, yeah. (laughs) Oh, you look at most European countries at this point; (laughs) they're doing horrible things somewhere. Yeah, she's. uh, I don't want to. Let's not talk about how she made her money. (laughs) Yeah. Instead, Edgar then is like, yep, there's no way they'll ever realise it was me. There's not a single trace of me at the crime scene apart from my shoes and my my hat and my umbrella and half of my bike. Yeah. (laughs) Oh, at which point he he is a a horse experiences a microaggression. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, Yeah. (laughs) because like the horse and the mouse can both understand him. So they know it was him. Yeah. Yeah. And he says like a nay thing, doesn't he? Mm. It, yeah, he's like, well, uh, I'm I'm glad I've told you, and you can't tell anyone or something like that yeah. to the horse. But he makes like a horse noise, and the horse <laughs> looks offended. No, that horse has <laughs> experienced a microaggression. <laughs> yeah, it's like when you meow at a cat, and the cat looks at you like, "How fucking dare you?" <laughs> yeah, that's it. Uh, but yeah, the the horse and the mouse know. Yeah. Uh, but Edgar goes out and has to get his shit back. Yeah. So, yeah, the... so we get another dog scene. Yeah. yeah. Well, but just before then, the kittens like get chased off of the car, um, yeah. and then they are going. It was over, a milk. Like, it was a, a milk cart. So yeah. Um... yeah. Yeah. So they were drinking the milk, and then they have to cross a train bridge, and then a train comes, and they're all scared, and then Marie falls off something for the yeah. second time. They get in standby. Five... They get first of all, they get a standby mead. And then they get mad lined. Yeah. <laughs> Just Marie, bow yeah. face down in the river. <laughs> <laughs> but O'Malley um, jumps in and rescues her. Yeah, because he's um, a good cat, really. Yeah, but then he can't really swim, and then he's rescued by two geese. I love the geese. The, so geese the geese have kind of gone viral on TikTok recently as well, yeah, which is really that, weird. That fucking, it's the music from it, because there's that, like, Lauren kept sending me, like, TikToks of, and it's just got that bit of music from the geese, and yeah. the second it started, I was like, 
Oh fuck! I know yeah. what that's from. I recognized it. <laughs> like, love the geese. The geese are great. That big, one. big fan of the geese going. We're from England. We're on a walking tour of, <laughs> of. We're doing a walking tour of France and some of it swimming. We're from England. Like every fucker else <laughs> in this movie. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone else is also. They have the same accent. The only one that doesn't is Duchess. Yeah, <laughs> she's like, ah, oh, you lot are from it's France somehow. British geese. <laughs> all right, you're all right, love. Go to Paris. <laughs> uh, but they're sweet and they help. And again, it was like this film does. There's a danger, which is uh, the cat in the water can't swim, and then it is. Immediately, the danger is removed. Yeah, yeah. There are some geese they rescue him. It's You're not allowed a, yeah. to worry for more than fifteen seconds. I'd say yeah. tops at any point in this film. But even like, it was a heading. But again, because I wasn't aware, it was heading towards darkness when, uh, the geese were like around the. I can't remember the street cat's name. It's not going in. Tom. It yeah. He's a tom cat. He's yeah, called he's tom. tom. He's Tom. That's fair. <laughs> um, he's. When he's like struggling to swim and they're like, you'll never get anywhere holding on to this branch. <laughs> it was like, are they just going to let him drown? Because they did have that like veneer of, they're just going to let him drown and go, well, I guess he couldn't swim and then keep walking. <laughs> well, because if of... he drowns, they get some money. <laughs> I really feel like sometimes you forget you're watching a kid's film. <laughs> no, but like, it's from that era of kid's film that is like, and True. we shot someone. <laughs> <laughs> like characters die sometimes in these kinds of films. True. Yeah. So my brain is just gonna go, "What if? <laughs> what, 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 this could be it. This could be the darkness bit." Yeah, uh, that is dark, though, isn't it? Oh yeah, he tries to rescue Marie and then drowns. Yeah, and then they move yeah. on to the next fun-loving character who's gonna help <laughs> yeah. him get back to Paris. He drowns it and it cuts difficult. to the geese's uh, drunk uncle <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> getting pissed in a cafe. <laughs> I I do like how they lined up everyone the geese lined everyone up <laughs> it is that is the most accurate representation i've ever seen of two old british women yeah <laughs> they well i that. just i love the bit where they like they go bottoms up and then they look back at each other and they're like oh, and they go you know what this means yes deeper yeah <laughs> i think i used to do that quite a lot like at the swimming pool be like i'm a goose but I, <laughs> <laughs> I definitely have known old women like that Oh, they're I, fully prepared to and expect to rescue someone in danger. Yeah, and but also, like, you need to sit like this, and if you stand there like this, and then we all have to walk together. Yes. That kind of, walk like, everything. properly. <laughs> yeah, properly and together. Isn't it fun? Oh, it's so much fun if we all do it together. That kind of... Because even the cats, one of the baby cats is like, do we have to waddle? <laughs> And Dutch is like, yes. Dutch is like, yes, of course, don't be rude. This is fun. And they do you waddle. To... Their little butts are wiggling so yeah. much. Dutch is like, yes, don't don't worry. Just like Madame Adelaide told us, we have to fall in line in goose step. <laughs> <laughs> this is practice for what's coming later. What do you mean, Duchess? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> These are British geese. Yeah. Oh, you don't know much about posh British people in World War II. Oh, have I got some stories for you? Um, yeah, wait but for yeah. about the Queen. <laughs> <laughs> that was a anyway. Nazi school in England. But yeah, the um, waddling, the the waddling where they're like putting their yeah the feet up like wide, yeah, and turned so in, sweet. and their butts are wiggling. It's so it, it's good. really funny. It's really cute. It's so um, sweet. And then and then I think it's Edgar going to get his stuff back, and the yeah. dogs have just nicked it, and he's yeah, they're just wearing it. Yeah. yeah, and he's like trying to use like a fishing line to to get his uh, hat back and stuff like that. One of the dogs is like, "Ah, oh, shoes!" Like his shoes approaching. Yeah. Uh, oh, it's <laughs> it's when he manages to get the stuff, but he's been like hiding in a haystack, and the dog's like, "Yeah, I can uh, hear a squeaky wheel. It's a motorbike. Seems like a a one wheeled haystack with an umbrella." Yeah, he's like, yeah. "You're not going to believe this, but it feels yeah. like a one wheeled haystack." And then the kittens uh, are a bit tired, but don't worry, they're nearly at the safe house for the night, but, oh, the scat cats are there. <laughs> well, yeah, so Amali is, uh, the Duchess is like, oh, please get us back tonight, but he's like, look, the kids are absolutely zonked. It's getting dark. Obviously, he's, like, she's she's sort of, yeah, naive, and he's just like, no, we need to get, like, they can stay in my place. 
which Pass. again still naive but he has proved himself a few times at this point yeah he calls it his pad yeah <laughs> pad in paris and yeah it's he goes to like this empty house and there's some people well things playing music yeah. Well, he's about to say, like, it's, it'll be quiet, and then we can get going in the morning. And just then the the jazz, like, boots up, and, like, the window flaps open with the the volume of music coming out of it. And he's just like, ah. And, and he's then... like, these are the jazz cats. Yeah. Led by Scat Cat. Yeah. I live in downstairs in that house. <laughs> you <don't know. laughs> you'd be confused. You'd be, I mean... you'd be like, no one lives upstairs. I know there's a group of cats up there. You'd be going insane because you'd be like, I hear jazz music. No, but the thing is, like, the humans can't understand the cats. So is the music just also nonsense <laughs> to the humans? Yes, it's, it's called jazz. It's just cats oh, jumping, yeah, on, point, yeah. jumping on a No, they're playing jazz. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's just, yeah. Um... <laughs> it's just a cat yowling into a trumpet the wrong way around. <laughs> But you'd be so annoyed if you went upstairs and there's these cats on instruments making so much noise. <laughs> uh, but we get the coolest cats. Yeah. Well, yeah, uh, and, and 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 one racist <laughs> depiction. Well, there's a couple of racist ones. It's, <laughs> it's all kind of yeah. borderline of its time racism. Yeah. In, I mean, in this whole scene is like uh... <laughs> about 98% of the song is really fun. Um, yeah, yeah. Everybody wants to be a cat. It's you know, it's the one that I knew. It's the one that I'd heard just in general and in the Disney store. But you know, when you're in the Disney store, they don't play the racist bit. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. So that... yeah, it's Sean yeah. Gon is a Chinese Siamese cat. Oh, inspired by Cy and Am from Lady and the Tramp. Oh, oh, was Lady and the Tramp before this? Apparently, no, it was oh. after. Yeah, I think it, it was, was like fifty. Yeah, it's a really old film. Fifty-five. Yeah. Uh, Fucking but yeah, hell, that is old. <laughs> but yeah, so this played by f- famous Asian actor Paul Winchell. Mm-hmm. Oh, of course, yes. Oh, and, like, man. The, just the whole line is incredibly racist, too, right? Oh god. Okay, so he yeah. also does. Um, <laughs> this is going to be sad uh, for you guys. He's also the voice of. T- he's best known for being the voice of Tigger. <laughs> I mean, we could have. To be fair, we could have got a much worse Tigger. <laughs> <laughs> we could have. Yeah, considering what they've signed off on in this film, it's so bad. Like he's got it, big front uh... teeth. He plays his instruments with chopsticks. Yeah, it's, it's very bad. And like they and it, can it cut really it out. Is out of nowhere for like just a couple of seconds, and then it's gone. And you're like, hang on. Why? I, I was I was looking away when that happened. I was like, "Oh, there it is. <laughs> There's the warning." But they can just cut it out, and it won't change anything. It will change yeah, literally nothing. Like he's in other scenes, you just see him in like costume and like glasses and stuff, so you can't see his like slitty eyes, and he's not holding chopsticks. So it's just he's just another yeah. cat, and that's fine. Like, sure, have a Siamese cat. Like they exist. That's fine. Like, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's it, really weird. It I, I get, I get yeah. where Disney's coming from, where they're saying like we don't want to get rid of this stuff. But I would imagine that you, if you were, you know, that, Asian and watching this, it could be a hell of a lot more upsetting. I think that kind of statement's fair if it's like a major part of the story, or like you can't edit it out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But this is like a verse, or like a part of a verse in a song. Yeah, you could easily cut it out and like not miss a beat. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, it, it's, it's really not necessary weird. to the movie. It's so strange. Um, and then also, like, immediately after that, it just goes full on, like, I hope you don't have epilepsy, kind of. Uh... Yeah. It goes hard. Yeah. <laughs> it's a party. It does jazz. And the... Yeah, Duchess is on more than just sleeping pills. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It, it, it... There are references to weed, right? Probably. Like, in the... Uh, but I she's know, like, know, by the looks of it, they're, they're probably on LSD or something. But she's like, kind of flirting with jazz, um, because she starts playing the harp. Mm. Why, why do they have a harp up? <laughs> what is this place? Is it above a music store? But she starts playing that, uh, and it's she's kind of flirting with all of them. Yeah, she's just sort of being quite charming, isn't she? Yeah, uh, which is kind of which is great. Yeah, it's it's a really nice scene if you ignore the awful bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And like Scat Cat, to be fair, is was literally supposed to be Louis Armstrong. 
Yeah. yeah. Uh, but he got ill yeah. and he couldn't do it. That's been a different so, vibe. Yeah, it's like that's not racist. Like they that that's a real person that they're portraying. Yeah. And like having hit like it, like you know, it's not they've not made him have horror like they're not no, characterizing no, him with like black features. He's a black cat in that he's literally black. Yeah. But that he's, sort of where they've drawn yeah. the lot, like you know, they've seen that that's you know Yeah, that's, like he's that's not a right. caricature. He's not a character. Yeah, he's he's a character, and it's a real person doing something that they were famous for, which is playing the trumpet. Which yeah. is so. It's like that's so such a good representation. It's so jarring to have then the really, really, really racist <laughs> yeah. Asian cat for like such a small amount of yeah. time. Like they, like the they back then they had to rebalance it. This this film isn't racist enough. We need to just <laughs> add slide it in there somewhere. It's it's so so strange. Yeah, but the kids get tuckered out, go to bed, and yeah. they're all being nice. And Tom and and Duchess are outside talking, and he's like, "You should stay with me. We should go and see the world and and that whole spiel." And she's like, "No, I need to go home." Yeah, uh, he I doesn't. Go he home. doesn't realize that she lives in a big fucking mansion at this point. Well, that's what's really funny about it, because he's like, wow, okay, then I guess I'll go off by myself then, and she's like, damn, yeah, you will. <laughs> I'm gonna go home. <laughs> At no point is she like, you should come back with me. She's just like, damn, that sucks for you. <laughs> he's like, this is the bad quarters, and she's like, oh, no, it's great, it's fine, but I've got to go home. <laughs> she's like, damn, that sucks. <laughs> oh, well. Yeah, he really doesn't understand the idea. Like, he, it's again, it's it's kind of the same argument as Oliver and Company. It's like being a pet versus being a street cat. Yeah, like, she's you're like people don't. And you get to play jazz, or you can have a life of luxury and be well, very I, loved and taken care of and have creams twice a day. I thought they were going to Stuart Little it and have because you know Stuart Little. Wait, this isn't like the <laughs> Stuart Little it where they they find a person mouse. No, uh, they go and adopt <laughs> a, a person mouse. No, you know it's your little when he gets taken back to the house and like it looks like they're all enjoying themselves. Yeah. Um, I thought they were gonna do that where like the Duchess and the cats get back and it looks like like the m- Madame's over it and like yeah, doesn't care. Yeah. I thought they were gonna do that and they didn't because you can only be worried in this film for about fifteen seconds. <laughs> yeah, it's too nice. <laughs> because his whole point, Tom's whole point, is that like some humans are just bad and you need to learn that. Yeah, he's and clearly been through something. Yeah. yeah. At no point is she, like, offers for him to come back. <laughs> no. It's really funny. It's only sort of when, when they essentially get to the mansion and he's like, oh shit, you live here? <laughs> Damn, you live like this? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he starts um, to see the appeal. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, like, Duchess is, is well, not not around when they first get back, so Edgar... Um, who the mouse immediately like ties his shoes together, but Edgar essentially just gets them in a sack and throws them in the oven, and I was like, "Oh fuck!" Yeah, yeah, because the yeah, he, he like... finally realizes the actual like, <laughs> like, doesn't... like how fragile cats are. Yeah. He doesn't try to cook them though; he's just putting them in there to no, put them just, in there. Yeah, yeah, just in there, and then the mouse goes to get um get O'Malley. Well, Madame comes downstairs like I heard the cats, and yeah. he's like, "I'll he's open like, the door oh, and check." <laughs> You lying bastard. Yeah. Again, yeah I suppose because it's like a big old oven, it probably would be quite soundproof. Yeah. He put them in an oven, but because you're only allowed to be scared for 15 seconds, he didn't turn it on. Yeah. No fried cats here. No. Baked um, cats. In- instead, uh, yeah, so... <laughs> no, there are some baked cats. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, we do see some baked cats. Yeah, <laughs> yeah the-, the mouse goes to get... Um... Get Tom and Tom's like, ah, right, go go get the um the scat and cats, and he's like, but I'm a mouse. Yeah. He's like, well, just say uh, say Tom Thomas sent you. Tom, yeah. Tom O'Leary, sent you. it's O'Leary, isn't it? No, O'Malley. O'Malley is it O'Malley. Yeah, he's... O'Leary is one of the names Joke. that the mouse calls him by. Accident. Oh, yeah, because yeah, he can't remember his name, and he's like, it's O it's O'Leary, O'Grady, O oh, what is it? And then he was like, oh, I can't I can't believe that Tom O'Malley sent me here to die, and they're like, yeah. oh, what? Tom O'Malley, O'Malley sent you? I love that. <laughs> Let's go. And then and then Edgar's like gonna ship the cats across the world 
he's, he's, well, got, he, he's gonna package them off to Timbuktu. He's yeah. having a which, which I think fight. was a threat I received quite a lot as a child. Yeah, I I always yeah. assumed that Timbuktu was a made up place as a <laughs> kid's punishment. I didn't realise it was like It's it's far away, but you know. Yeah. Not impossible guess, to get yeah. back from. Especially if you find an, uh, a street cat. <laughs> um, I, um, he's so yeah. Edgar's having a fist fight with Tom. Yeah, they get in a full on <laughs> like yeah. battle. He's he's not good at dealing with cats. No, because like if you want to stop a cat from attacking you, you can. The only reason you don't <laughs> is because like you don't want to hurt the cat. Yeah, you don't care want to hurt the cat, cat. Like to be fair, you can overpower You're fine. the cat. He's like, so... As long as they don't like scratch you in the eyes. Yeah, as long as you like keep my arms long. Because most people have arms longer than cats. Yeah, don't let them bite you because their bites are fucked. Mm-hmm. Their bites like eat at your flesh. But like, yeah, cats are like if you're not afraid of hurting them. He's just real shit at fighting cats. Yeah, and then all the like street cats come in and start fighting him. And um, the bit I found so funny is the mouse just trying to like undo the um. The lock on the, oh, thing, yeah. on the thing. That's great. And he just yeah. turns, he's like, shh, and all the cats. <laughs> and just and they'll freeze. Yeah, because <laughs> it's one of those old fashioned, like, safe style locks. Yeah. yeah. He's got, like, yeah. So he, he manages great. to undo it. <laughs> and then they all just start fighting again. That bit was real funny. Uh, and then they throw Edgar in the box, don't they? Yeah, the horse helps as well. <laughs> yeah. So they collectively kill Edgar. <laughs> They they knock him in a box and then shove him outside so that he gets well, un- away instead. Ass- assumedly, he's unconscious in that box. Yeah, probably. Yeah, Edgar's dead. Yeah. And oh, one time he gets to Timbuktu, which for people who aren't familiar is in uh, Mali, in Africa. Yeah. So he'd hey, probably he's, be dead. He's dead before he gets there. Like he's got no. He's got very little. Oh, oxygen someone realizes that there's a man in there and lets him out. Well, he's. You can't be unconscious for that long. That's what I'm gonna say. It's like being unconscious is a lot more dangerous than like TV shows and films let on. Mm. You get like ten minute, five minutes, and you got brain damage. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, it depends on if you're unconscious or uh, if you're not breathing. Is very well. He's in an dead. enclosed box. Yeah, yeah. So he can I suffocate. Just... I mean, it, it, but there's probably some air holes in it. There is, but he's not mm. gonna have much flowing oxygen. He's no. gonna breathe through that pretty quick. I just, I he's, just thought so. so well, the cats this. were all an- acting in self-defense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I don't have a problem. I would prefer he be dead, but um, yeah, I don't have a problem with it. But <laughs> like, they killed a guy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's the reason he's taken off of the will. <laughs> so, yeah, not because he tried I'm, to kill the cats. <laughs> that's what I was thinking. Is like, how does she know that he's the one that tried to kill the cats? Because the only she people doesn't that know. know that is all the animals. She doesn't know. She says he ran away. He left. Oh, okay. But she's I, like, oh, it's a shame because he was on the will. And it's like, if he wasn't such yeah. an absolute moron who only listened to a little bit of a conversation, he might have actually got something in the will. <laughs> no, it's because she believes he left. Yeah. She's yeah. like, oh, he's. it's so weird that he ran, he left. Okay. Killed by cats. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> they haven't found <laughs> his body in the box yet. But then oh. it turns out that, yeah, um, they've kept Thomas O'Malley as well. So they're now yeah. a nice family of cats, and she's gonna take take a photo of them, and she's like, "Say cheese," and the mouse is like, "Did somebody say cheese?" <laughs> yeah. When yeah. when he took, I'm on the will again. I'm back to the yeah. will. When he took Edgar off of the will, does that mean it's just the cats now? And when the cats die, yeah. it's kind of but anyone's she, money. She turns the house into like a a, a cattery, like a, a place to yeah. adopt all the alley cats of Paris. Yes. So the... I imagine the money is just going towards that. The yeah, house. that's a lot more cream. Her cream budget has got high. Yeah. I mean, she's got the money for it. Well, yeah. I wonder if she'll get stuff in to... You'd need stuff. I don't think she's going to be doing too much poop scooping. No, that's true. No. But what, what if that stuff, like, it eventually turned into a school for girls? <laughs> <laughs> is this how it starts? This is this is the, the school from Madeline, yeah. It started out as a Eventually cat. they adopt, the, they run out of cats, so they start adopting children. Yes, they start looking after. Well, they look after children alongside. There's a whole separate film called it's, the uh, yeah, Arista like Children, <laughs> called the Arista Girls, where they get. There's a whole separate like adventure, and they start adopting children <laughs> from wealthy uh, British families, 
um, for no reason and not connected to World War Two at all. Sorry, <laughs> got in Paris. as well. Title of this movie: Very good pun. <laughs> You're right, like, amazing. Yeah, do you think they came up with that first and then built the movie from there? Maybe. I don't know. No, I don't think they did. I think they got through the film and someone like halfway through development was like, "I've got a fucking idea." <laughs> <laughs> like how Ratatouille the, oh, so was... So it was ri- called, like, the working title was, like, The, Aristocat- the Aristocratic Cats. Yeah. <laughs> like like, I bet it... like Helena coming up with the title for A, I loved that movie. Yeah, I love that movie. <laughs> just or, like, out you, of nowhere. You know the original title for Ratatouille was just Rats? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was probably like that, and then it was like, someone went, wait, I have an idea. Hang on, you know how they spent the entire movie cooking Ratatouille? Yeah, well, what if... <laughs> <laughs> they don't cook right yet. Um but I just I just like the idea that someone wrote a film on what's it called? Rats. <laughs> what's it about cooking? Well this was gonna be called cats, but that was taken. Yeah, that's true. This film's good. Yeah. I this really film is like it. I feel like if I watched this film again I'd be a lot more relaxed watching it. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, this I'm film not... for me was just like a little cuddle with some twists yeah. and turns, but like the sort of lazy river twist and turns, not yeah. the, not the like, you know, roller coaster. A, a gentle country road. I'm glad you liked it though. I was really worried you wouldn't, and then no, I, I would have been cross because it's so wonderful. No, it's it's lovely, and unlike Oliver and Company, it doesn't have like the threat or like the the like surface grub of being a threatening emotional film. Yeah, it, yeah. it's also. The, there's a lot less actual grubbiness as well of like you know yeah. this is you know set in like you know early 1900s Paris but it it looks nice for the most part whereas all of Oliver and Company is like it's the 80s and it's New Ooh. York and it's grubby and horrible. <laughs> Oliver and Company has like the tone of it's going to be a dark emotional sad kids film. Hmm. It has that like overtone from the yeah. very beginning. This film. Like, I was expecting it because it's a film of this time, but it yeah. has that, like, the overtone is joy yeah. and, like, safety. Isn't it great to be a cute little kitten? Yeah, yeah. it's just a fun a, like, adventure for them. <laughs> like, they and start then, off scared, yeah. but they get home and, yeah, you know, Yeah, and the whole film is, what, 24 hours long? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, not not uh, as in, like, the time frame. It's, it's short, Which is, it's like, sweet. Which is, like, incredible how quickly they got that in the papers. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like, utterly amazing. So, well, maybe I guess two, two nights. Yeah, it's two nights, isn't it? Yeah, that's still so a quick turnaround. Hours, yeah. That's still a quick turnaround. But, well, uh, yeah. headline news, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Um, famous daily papers they printed back then. Yeah, <laughs> right, they they did have daily papers. I know, but they weren't like major papers. They were like side. Yeah, I like this film. It was good. What what would you give it out of ten? It's like a good seven. Um, cats face down in the water. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it's seven. Uh, like posh British geese talking to French British people. No, I, yeah. I think seven French accents because that's about the most that's in this film. <laughs> that's, that's how many there are. Yeah. 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 I I'd, I'd have to agree. I'd give this seven sassy kittens. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, it was it was nice. Oh, you know, there was I'm... that bit, you know, where it's just suddenly not nice. Uh, the rest of it is nice. Yeah, yeah, but it loses a point for me for racism because it can't be. Yeah. You can't really be ten out of ten and racist. No, uh, but it is. A, it is a solid nine. Like everything else in this film is just joyful. This is um, a ten out of, without the racism. This is a ten out of ten movie for you. Yeah, this and is I, 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 I know it's riding on the cattails of quite a lot of nostalgia but this film genuinely like oh, brings me so much joy and like it was one of those ones when i finished watching it i wanted to watch it again yeah this is up this is up there with matilda for you. i'm not like this isn't a bad thing but this is up there with matilda yeah matilda's also wonderful no i know i'm not saying that that's bad but like like yeah, yeah. 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 no this this film really does it for me i i mean i love oh. cats i grew up with cats like the musical <laughs> oh, God. have you seen cats the film yeah the live action one no yeah we have to do that as a bonus episode now but like i really enjoy (laughs) i don't want to watch it (laughs) i will only watch the the uh but the butthole version 
Oh, the yeah, butt I, edit. I don't want to watch anything with James Corden in, I'm afraid. I will. No, I, we need to do a, a bonus episode. We can do a live watch along of Cats, actually. <laughs> Please, that would be so much fun. I think I also grew up with a lot of jazz. Like, my, my parents were really into jazz, and we had an old jukebox that would play jazz records. Yeah. Yeah. And we, like, my parents, I think my parents also liked this film. So we got to watch it a lot. It is a soft film. So that's a lot, you know, that's that's better. I think I think my parents are probably just thrilled I was watching something that wasn't Princess The Black film. Cauldron. Yeah, I suppose it's a nice like like it's not it's not a very long movie at all, but it's just like, yeah, you can watch this film about some cats going on an adventure. You'll you'll it's enjoy a, it. It's fine. It it's a good like Saturday afternoon mm. in spring. Yeah. Yeah, too film. drizzly to go out and do anything. Yeah. But like it's not awful. It's not like winter. It's not a winter film. It's it's a like cold spring evening film. I yeah, I mean I, I disagree in that I would quite happily watch this like at any time. Oh no, you can watch it in winter, but it's not like it doesn't have the vibe of a winter movie. Yeah, like, it's winter not a movies... Christmas film or a winter film. I think because it's set in like what spring, yeah. I guess. But it's got yeah. like lovely, nice, calm And then jazz. Like, and jazz. Yeah, it's just nice. Um, winter film. I think having like... the having the bad guy be just undeniably bad. And it being a very simple plot yeah. is it like really like it merits it. And it's like, yeah, they meet some colourful characters so <laughs> and yeah, on along the way. But I love or even the drunk goose, the uh, their uncle yeah. the geese's yeah. uncle <laughs> who was gonna was be great. marinated and cooked <laughs> by the French <laughs> <laughs> cafe, but instead it's just pissed. Was yeah, yeah. is is really funny. That was, his, it, the yeah. line of like I was um Basted. That was it. He said I was basted in wine. If I'm British, I'd have preferred port. Yes. <laughs> Great joke. Yeah, a lot of good, lot of good jokes in this. Yeah, but, yeah, and like the dialogue, I think is pretty good. The the kittens yeah. are funny, but like there is a little bit more in it for adults. It's not like you know adults can still enjoy it. I think as well. Yeah, it's just a little so, joy. Yeah, no, that's film. why it's a nine out of ten for me. Like I'd. I'd quite happily watch this over and over, and I'd I'd quite happily watch an edited version without the like literally two really racist lines in it, and maybe like not having play chops play with chopsticks in yeah. the other scenes. Is it's just un it's just it's unnecessary, it's unnecessary for the film, and it doesn't like it doesn't. It's so weird honest. because like they've got such good examples of how not to be racist in it that it's just like, like it's right don't, next like to you it. can in put, the, in... yeah, like, literally in the same scene. <laughs> yeah. Like two seconds before is like this is good. <laughs> and like they changed the name from what they were going to call it if it was Louis Armstrong's character to Scat Cat because it's it's um it is Scat um Scatman yeah that that is voicing him and yeah. one can assume playing the trumpet yeah strange this film's great with a weird choice in it yeah bad choice yeah no it's it was really I was. Part of me, like, there was a little bit of doubt in my mind when I was started rewatching it, especially with the warning at the start, and I was like, oh no, <laughs> oh. It, have I flubbered this one? Is this another, <laughs> like, lovely childhood memory going down the drain? But it, it wasn't. No. It's it, it's nice for when this podcast doesn't ruin your memories. <laughs> yeah, and it's Rare. a long treasure, and I hadn't watched it in ages, and it's one of those ones where, like, you know, maybe I'd put it on for, like, a child, but yeah. I hadn't... Yeah. Um, yeah, it hadn't occurred to me a... to sit down and just watch it for fun. So yeah, it was it was a little treat. Nice. Well, uh, I guess with that, I have been Dan. I have been Michael. And I've been Helena. Uh, you can find this podcast on TikTok, Threads, and Instagram at Hilton Pod. That's at H I L T M Pod. Uh, we're on Discord as well. If you want to come and chat to us on there, let us know. I guess if you have any nice memories of of Aristocats and. Don't really know <laughs> what else to to say for for this one. Um, mm-hmm. Oh fuck! What are we doing for Patreon? <laughs> so we are we going to kidnap some kittens? We're not going to kidnap some kittens. We we're not going to wealthy heiress kittens. Yeah, we're not going to kidnap some kittens. So we're going to use your money to build an empire. I don't know what else, but we're going to become millionaires. Oh, nice! Have and, a, and we'll have a big big mansion for cats to live in. <laughs> huge lovely. mansion. Um. Lovely, have a group of cats, it'll be great. And then we hire a slightly iffy butler. <laughs> <laughs> Just a slightly iffy... Yeah, we're not going to do thorough background checks. 
a little shit. Well, we have to do a thorough background check because we have to see that he's a little shady. <laughs> yeah, there's just a couple of gaps where he was looking after relatives, yeah. but definitely not in prison. Yeah, hundred um, percent. And then we're gonna, yeah, we'll hire him, let him look after, let it slip, build a system of pipes throughout the house that allow you to hear <laughs> for the gerbils. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> the ger- no, that's it. We're not doing ha- we're not doing cows. We're doing hamsters. We're, doing the hamst- we're building hamster <laughs> house. It's this film but with hamsters. <laughs> um, hundreds of hamsters as well. Hamptons, hamsters. Um, you, you know, hamsters mostly don't like each other, right? Yeah, yeah that's, that's big enough. It house. Starts with a hundred. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay, so it, we're doing battle royale hamster battle house royale. edition. We're not doing battle royale hamsters. We're just getting a couple. Maybe rats. Now let's do rats. Rats are like easier to, and you won't lose them in a house. <laughs> I, think, um, I think that happens. <laughs> I mean, I haven't like, lost mine yet, but they they try their best sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but free room in the house. Um, we leave our millions <laughs> to these rats. Um, and yeah, see if Shady Butler tries to kidnap them. We've got to have boy rats doesn't... and girl rats though, because then there will just be an endless supply of rats, yes, and an the money will always be rats. needed. Rather than like, if you just be like, yeah, these three rats, and then yeah. it's like, okay, cool, eighteen months to eat to two years. Yeah, it's really important to get the right shady, the right kind of shady butler, because yes. if he's too shady, he will just kill the rats. Yeah, we need him to be a little bit more devious <laughs> and to like plan. We need a we need planner. Him to be... Slightly shady, like M M&M. and M. Yeah, but we need like a planner, someone who plans yeah. things too much, so he can plan we also an need elaborate. Quite intelligent rats. Yeah, we can find intelligent rats. Yeah, <laughs> that that we'll break them yeah, out. No, there's the, that YouTube channel where the, where the rats do all the tricks. Those yeah, are very clever rats. Find some clever rats. They can get out with. And we're in Paris, by the way. No one has a French accent. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um. Yeah, Are we still going to have Winnie the Pooh as Rock for? Yes. Yeah, yeah it's very he's hard. He's out of the uh, copyright now, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, it's very hard to have, like, mouse. Um, <laughs> there's a load of rats, and then for some reason a mouse <laughs> is considered lower class than he's, the rat. He snuck in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they just think it's a baby rat. It's because yeah. we adopted him. <laughs> yeah, from, from, and we have a horse. Yeah, well, how else are the rats going to get about? Yeah, that's what I mean. Uh, but yeah, Paris, no French accents. Insight. Uh, yeah, we just see if the rats get home. <laughs> I was thinking, like, how would my rats survive in the wild? And if they wouldn't. Well, no, but we'll have clever, <laughs> tough rats. Why not? Well, no, Why our rats would go out and find a street rat. Yeah, and the street, a street <laughs> rat would sort of make them swoon and say that yeah. they've got their eyes are like diamonds. Well, no, then... what what would probably happen is they go out and find a street rat and they all get rabies and go insane. No, that's not... Yeah, it's probably okay. going to happen. We'll lose yeah. the rat. Yeah, ni- the rats, the the rats will either ad- <laughs> adapt or they'll die. Yeah. Uh, hopefully they get rabies the and bite the butler. <laughs> <laughs> My rats the other day, um, so I was terrible. giving them treats and they, for the lot like, my husband was just holding the last treat, and he was like, "Well, he, he couldn't decide which one to give it to, so he just held it on the like sort of rat nose, to, like standing up height." And it was like, "Whichever rat comes and gets it first can have it." And it took them so long, <laughs> and it's like you have to—you're supposed to have like expert smelling, like you're supposed mm-hmm. to be so good not at finding the... food, and it's like just not not these guys, not the brightest rats. They are not the brightest rats. Um... They're scared oh. of strange. They're, they're scared of really strange things as well. Absolutely yeah. love the vacuum cleaner. Does not bother them at all. I even put the rat, the 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 vacuum cleaner, the vacuum cleaner up to like the cage and <laughs> the get rat. the bits that are like just poking through the bars. Yeah, um, and they don't care at all. Cracking a can, terrifying. Apparently, <laughs> uh-huh. um, crinkling a bag, terrifying. Weird. But yeah, loud things that like pets you are supposed to hate. They're just like, no, nah, it's cool. It's the vacuum. Can you imagine? <laughs> you missed jazz- a spot as they just throw their shit out of the cage. <laughs> Can you imagine some jazz rats? Oh uh, yeah. I'm imagining some jazz rats, and that's <laughs> great. Have you not? Oh, there's, I'm sure there was a YouTube video where there was like a jazz rat that was like. I think they For- just put some peanut butter on the edge of end of a toy yeah. saxophone, and it was great. You know the scene when they're sat 
the Duchess and Tom are sat and they're like flirting and talking about going home. Yeah. Um, and their tails intertwine. Far more frightening with rat tails. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Far more awful to look at. Than yes, then they end up like... with a, a rat king. <laughs> but we're in Paris, so he gets beheaded. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the rats are like, uh, we do not respect your authority. <laughs> yeah, you get, a ra- you get a rat king and then a rat revolution. And, <laughs> and oh, then no, some we rat... Can get that, we can get that little rat guillotine from, from the Spanish yeah, you get, kid from... You get... <laughs> <laughs> That's where he gets it from. That's from the rat revolution and the, the rat executions. Uh, um. Oh, dear. <laughs> Not long after that is um, all the good ones go to heaven in the rapture. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, Dan. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That sounded better that's, in my head. <laughs> that's it. I think that's a good place to end. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a good way to end it, but I think it's no. a sign we should. <laughs>